to match eight in a few moments. I have here Bleh and Alex on the desk to join me and of course to cover the next match. Guys, going into Vikendi, we touched on it yeah. a little bit earlier on. We're gonna be diving into the game as soon as it's ready. Give me some thoughts here about how this match is going to go. Last time, obviously, India Tigers taking for Kendi. It was to the first match as well on Wrangle. However, I feel like with the consistency kind of tapering off for Indian Tigers, I think we're going to be seeing a new champion on this map. True. Your thoughts, I think, for me, we might see Brawler step up, Team Insidious as well, but I've said that so many times that each and every time they failed me, so maybe I'm going to go play it safe and say Soul. But the time you don't root for them yes. is the time they're going to show Reverse psychology cast exactly. is first, so I'm going for. Exactly. Yeah, I, I, I kind of believe, like I said, I think the winner is up for grabs. I think any of these teams can pull off the win, right? We saw Orb do it as well earlier. So, But what I'm going to predict is I and D are going to place, have a top five placing. They have been so consistent so far. I think the previous map was kind Their of like only a... time. They came out 11th apart from that eight. Which never happened time. before. Yeah, top five. In the past, in, in, since yesterday, right? So I'm expecting at least a top five coming out from these guys because they have been consistency personified. And I do want to point out for you guys watching at home or even in the audience, to be honest, you can whip out your phone. If you watch the stream on YouTube and you're subscribed to the channel, you will get, for the first time ever in PUBG Mobile, drops in the game to be using for yourself. So make sure to check that out if you're watching on Twitch or wherever it might be. Check out the YouTube channel as well. And you hear that music, that means the game's about to kick off. Bleh and Alex, take us away. Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Match number eight about to go live. A day to the plane flying overhead here, Alex. Vikendi, the second time that we're going to be seeing this in the tournament. Indeed it is. Indian Tigers took it last time, but we just said it moments ago, we're not expecting the same result here. The plane going from west to east, but towards the southern eastern side. So Cosmodrome, Trevno, Coal Mine, etc. Not really going to be places of action early on. Which is going to be interesting is this path does not really favor the way Team IND like playing, where they love going way up north. And Tigers oh, sorry, as rather well, they, yeah. They're going south. I'm sorry, I meant Indian Tigers, yeah. who really do love going up north though. But that being said, they are slowly trying to inch up towards north. It looks like we won't be seeing much action towards the Cosmodrome, at least if the circle doesn't wind up over there. And we, of course, will wait to see which other teams remain who haven't jumped from the plane so far. Daku already taking over near towards Dino Park. Payne as well, there towards the east. One of the first teams we saw actually jumping out of the plane. Hydra, IND, Tigers right now fighting for Hot Springs and Cantra. Obviously for Tigers, they have to make an adjustment on their game plan. Typically they go towards the north, towards Cosmodrome, towards Trevno. However, this time they weren't quite so fortunate with the placing of the plane. Indeed, as you can clearly see, everyone slowly, not everyone, but most of them are slowly drifting up towards the northeastern side of the map, because that is where most of the compounds are. That's where more, more of the majority of the loot is present, right? And of course, we do see ETG, NED Gaming Magazine, going to be the first guy on the screen for us here. Definitely a team that went under the radar yesterday before match six. So far, I've been a team to look out for for Dark Horses. Which other teams would you say are Dark Horses? For me, for my money, it's Orb. I think, yeah, I think Orb have been quietly surprising us a lot. The other team I would mention would be, of course, our good old... Where did they go? Where did they go? We have that team right there. Godlike. There we go. Godlike have been quietly very, very consistent. And here we have the first circle. It should be coming up for your screens very, very quickly. It's a pretty safe circle for everyone. It's like no one's kind of screwed over here so far. Definitely very balanced. Not what we saw in the last map on Arangul, where it was a northern plane and a southern th first circle. Instead... Many of your teams that are out of it are Hydra, some of the evil players as well, Sharko, etc., and Team IND are just on the ridge of it. Brawlers just outside another team. I believe that was ETG. You couldn't quite see it immediately. And it's actually, actually going to be 8 bit. I haven't really spoken too much about 8 bit. One of the dark horses coming into the event that we previously thought, however, they didn't deliver on LAN. Yeah. Something to be said for many of these teams. I believe they're topping ESL Open right now. They've obviously won a former event as well. However, here they haven't really been looking too good. So there's going to be an overlay, a crossover, 8 bit and brawlers. Yeah, this could be an all-out brawl here early on. We've been seeing a lot of early action, and speaking of which, a couple of gunshots, a couple of bullets getting rattled off. We have Ash running around, and brawlers. Oh, Frost is out the open. Ash, gonna rattle off a few warning shots. This duel just might be coming in. The problem is for Ash, I don't think he's aware of the second player who might have eyes on him. So Frost could bait out a shot while his teammate takes him down, but right now, it's a standoff between Frost and Ash. It's also working out where the rest of 8-bit are. If they can go for a flank in towards that compound, towards Frost, they are going to be priming their grenades. It feels like the compound warfare here is just chucking the HE grenades, trying to soften them up Ooh. or actually take them down. Frost is going to be going down early, but it should be a very, very easy revive. 
Oh. As well, the kill onto Dark. This isn't looking good for Brawlers at all. At all. And bear in mind, the first game yesterday, the first player to get knocked down was Frost. Although he did manage to get a top three placement for his team. But I love the aggression coming in from 8-bit. They are going in for the kill here. However, with the res coming in, Frost doesn't have much help. And he's getting pushed here while trying to res. Oh. Quick trade comes in. However, but someone's going to get taken down. And 8-bit, they're winning these duels. Just one player, I do believe, left alive and kicking for Brawlers. And, and he's down as well. So it's not looking good here for Brawlers. Sangwan down, Dark it's... down, but Iconic all that way away with the oh. UMP. Spots out Matt. Maybe can try go and find a few shots. Oh, he does land a few bullets here, but that's all he's going to get. And this is looking really, really rough indeed. As Iconic, he'll have to head for the hills here. There's nothing much he can do. There's no way he's going to save his teammates, and his teammates are going to get executed on the floor. Three players out already for Team Brawlers and just one player surviving. And this is a, a nightmare scenario for these guys. So, still 16 teams alive. Two players going down, two of them from Brawlers. Team IND playing a nice and patient as well. We saw it again on, on the military base, on towards the southern side of Arangel. IND going towards the compounds with pretty much the most loot. Absolutely, and I think they've been really, really good with those early games. They've been really, really good with those early games where they get into a compound, they have some sort of intuition, it kind of feels like, Alex, where they seem to find a place where it's not only just good loot, but they're never really bothered by anyone else. It's been really working out well for them in a wrangle, and this time around as well, they are taking a sweet time looting up. We have Orb as well over here, who had a great game in the previous one, yeah. game. Absolutely, they're a team you should really keep an eye out for. And here's the thing, even though Seoul do have the lead right now in the leaderboards, even though they're first place here, we still have five games. It's still open season for any one of these teams. More you can hear the cheer there. go yeah, up right there. Already. Speaking of Seoul, they had what, a 40, 47 point game yesterday in the one that they won. Goes to show that even though you may be behind 30 or 20 points, just one good game can make up that distance. I really like the fact that before the tournament started, in the first segment that we had, we were discussing how since each kill gives only one point, we might be seeing a very different playstyle coming out, a very passive style with a you know, low frags, low frag heavy sort of uh, playstyle coming out from all these teams. I love how Soul just don't give a damn. They're just pushing in, they just love just deathmatching, just getting those kills at will, and just basically just defying the meta. Godlike here on our screens. You mentioned them being one of the dark horses. The issue is as well. Abby four... yesterday, by the way, yeah, he, he had such really a great good. play. But yeah, Godlike. They were fourth and fifth in that range, and now they're only seventh after going out 16th in the last map. So they need to have a better performance here. They want a chance at fighting for the prelims at best, as it seems like Team Soul, Team IND, the only real teams with enough of a buffer to fight for the direct ticket to Berlin. And of course, we have Ronak. He already has the bolt action on his back. You give any gun with a scope to that guy, he is going to land that headshot. So, so far, phase one coming in slowly but surely. Mega Stars, a team that were actually in the top six, I believe, top seven teams in the last map. The issue is, of course, for Mega Stars, it feels like they don't really have the skill to back it up. They always get caught in situations it, where it kind of feels they have like good positioning, but they can't quite capitalize off of it, and they lose out on team fights. And sometimes it kind of feels like they're... I mean, I don't want to just call that right here, just me just like, you know, just trying to guess what's going on in their minds, but it looks like yesterday, at least in a couple of games, it felt like they gave up too early on. It could be internal discord, some strife happening between the teammates, because we could see some of the team... I mean, they're very passionate about the game, obviously. Everyone wants to win, and when things don't go start going their way, we can see that little bit of friction developing amongst the players. Speaking of friction, Tigers weren't too happy with the pathway of the plane, but they have made their way up north. Oh. Legend there from Rip Official. Shooting a few bullets there, but not really landing too much. Momentarily, he's going to be falling back here as he has given away his position. Speaking of position, they are going to be taking over coal mine and trying to loop there. So, teams are making their way north here. Yeah, and of course, ETG, if the circle does wind up going all the way up north, ETG, Entity Gaming are in such a good position. They're right next to Zavava, they've looted up, they've had all the time in the world. Let's take a look at the map over here. Entity Gaming, very comfortable there. There's no one around them. They can just do whatever they want, you know, buy their time. And if the circle does start shrinking in, they'll have all the time in the world to kind of like, you know, come and leave port and, you know, make their way towards the edge of the circle, play the edge of the circle, so to speak. Seoul have been doing the same thing throughout all the game. Land smack in the center and just kind of lay their claim on the land. Feels like they have claims to the best loot in most of the maps, be it school, be it boot camp. Here as well, Villa. 
in the center. Circle shrinking in, and oh, Team Evil are actually pretty out here. Taking a bit of damage is not going to be too bad, obviously. Yeah, it's still the first circle. Fine. Yeah, and we do have Evil making their way towards. They're kind of far apart, though. Uh, it looks like they'll make their way in, way to the south of the circle, but I'm not sure how much loot they have at the moment. In the meantime, Orb, who are looking pretty damn good in that game one of uh, today. So I am. Still in the blue zone towards Trevno, so he's going to be coming back out of that. And oh. we have an AWM, maybe going to be back in the hands of Soul. It's Ronan. very close by. It's yeah. right next to Soul. They can wow. go for this. The serendipity on that. Ronak is pretty close. Oh, but but IND, IND might fight for this airdrop. Yeah, and he should. I mean, they can't just allow Soul to do whatever they want, right? And IND are a team who are contesting for that first slot. So we, they haven't really quite made a move for it yet, but we can see on the minimap right now, teams. Uh, both the teams, IND and Seoul, starting to migrate towards a drop. And of course, it's a battle for the big green gun, the big green zoom banger, the AWM. And Ronick was banger. absolutely phenomenal with it yesterday. Speaking of yesterday, player of the day, Scal from Team IND. I think they're just going to be camping it. I don't think they're going to go for it. I think they're expecting one of these teams to go towards the, uh, the drop. Because right now, we can see they're around it, but no one's really committed to go for that thing. Obviously, they don't know that it contains an AWM, right? They just know it's a drop and whether it's a worthwhile risk, you know, just going for that particular thing. But it looks like a fight taking place here. That's well, LFP. Yeah, one of the top fraggers from yesterday. A few shots there. It's the vehicle of Swag. Nothing really going to be working out. Scout as well takes his chance. Swag does survive. Paradox, if he was in a better position at the compounds of the window, could find Scout and catch him off guard. As, ooh, Swag oh. again gets out of the vehicle, oh. goes into the open, but luckily Scout runs out of bullets. Does survive. The reload saving Mr. Swag. But the problem is they haven't spotted out. And uh, the, the problem for LFP right now is that their opponents, IND, they have a pretty good read on, they have the upper ground as well, and they have a pretty good read where LFP are pinned down in those houses. He snacks Paradox and Swag as well, all three plays over there. I don't know where the fourth one is for the time being. He's quite a distance away, I do believe, from the rest of his teammates. The question for these guys, for IND, are they going to keep them pinned down or are they going to reposition themselves right now? Obviously, before trying to play for the airdrop and hoping that one of the teams would go for it. I was expecting Learn From Pass to maybe be that one team. Pain Gaming, though, have made their rotation in towards the center of the circle. And this is what we see typically on Vikendi. Compound-based maps, teams don't want to play towards the edge like they do at Sanho. Instead, try and fortify those compounds and those best positions inside the circle. A and B as well. I and D, definitely. They, they've, they just have this bloodlust that I love watching. And look at Pain. They're so unaware that Kratos has his eyes trained on them. However, the environment will save them. It rattles off a few shots, doesn't quite land any of them. And Andy just looking for the skills. They want to just eliminate some of these players as early as possible to kind of claim this part of the map as theirs. Because as the circle shrinks in, it's going to get even, even rougher, so to speak. And there's two airdrops. Interesting to see which the second will contain. Sagra from Daku, he's going for this. Yeah, he's taking the risk. Obviously, Daku are, well, they were 60. Not quite sure now. Must be towards the bottom four anyway. He needs to take those risks to try to get back into the matchup and get those placement points and try and fight for more cash. As, let's be realistic here, I don't think they're going to be getting top three yeah, by the end of the day. Yeah, they've, they've been the one team, I think, uh, I think it was John or yourself who yeah. brought it up initially, how they've been the team which just somehow sneaks in at the bottom of the... 22nd you know, of the group stages, 16th in the semi-final. There we go. And even yesterday, they were kind of in the bottom. I don't think they ever had a top 10 finish at all. But today, that win, that coming second place would definitely have, have helped out. Second airdrop right there, we have a Groza. We got, of course, all that level three goodness as well as a Dreadland Syringe, something which you don't find that often. The next circle has come in, the third circle at that, towards oh. the eastern side. It's going to be very, very good for Megastars, for Daku, and for Learn From Past, who are currently in the center. Soul's going to have such a good time mowing these players down, because they're going to be coming in all the way towards where they are, and Mortal swapping out. Tapping away, patient taps, trying to land his precision shot, shots, oh. but he gets shot in return. Pain have spotted out where Mortal are, where Mortal is. Pain at the top of the hill. Mortal will survive though. Can bandage up momentarily. Has got the painkillers to get him to full HP, but it seems like he may go for the vehicle and strike it away scot free. But Pain, they're looking to go for the flank here. They're charging forward towards the western side to come down the flank. They're walking straight into Mortal's fire. 
Yeah, and so, yeah, that's one thing I've noticed so far. There have been very few teams in the server who the moment they realize they're facing offense team Soul, that they continue to take the fight. Most of them just peel away, they run away from the fight. They don't want to really, you know, get knocked out early on. Because let's be honest, Soul do have the best firepower in the game. Single player from Brawlers finding a knockdown. But as I say that... That's Connick Brawlers uh, down, down for the count. Pretty sure, yep, there you go. Brawlers are knocked out in 16th. Oh, that's rough. First team to get knocked out, Brawlers, who were the first seeded team coming in. I do believe the first seeded team coming into the, uh, into the finals here. So they've been having they a very rough time indeed as we're down to 15 teams. However, of all the remaining teams, no one's really taken any damage yet. It's still everyone holding the spots, playing the compound, just trying to hold on to their real estate, so to speak, and just, you know, run a few warning shots here. It's free real estate around the center. Yeah, I mean, real estate's good, man. That's where you uh, make that money. Or lose your money, depends on where you're doing it from. In the meantime, RIP, they're just gunning it with a vehicle out in the middle. And luckily for them, no one's really taking a shot. But look at this, Legend pushing in, and it's going to be Daljeet. He's going to down him and execute the man, Tempest, far away. He's been down as well, I do believe, and they're getting wiped out here by IND. Kratos going to be going in for the hunt. Is he going to find Tempest? No. However, there's no, there's no recovery here. May just leave him out for now as Snake Eyes goes down. Sky being one of the only players surviving for Rip Official. As he is just waiting now behind the wall. Gonna spot jump him. up and let's see what he can do. Dajit, gonna spot him out. Spray comes through, but it's like <laughs> shooting fish in a barrel and down he goes. Trance is gonna get the kill. Tempest is dead. Sky is dead as well from Dajit. There we go, another team going down, so it's going to be Rip Official out in 15th. Yeah, Rip's been having a rough time. I do wonder, it could it be their name that's jinxed them? Because, yeah, they've been dying pretty easily without really doing much damage to any of these players. IND's going to be pretty happy with that, though. Kills for days, kills and points, that's what they need right now, because every point does matter. As we've seen the way Soul have played, even though they've only had one win, the number of frags they've had have ensured that they are in the first position right now. So frags are what IND would also be looking for. They're going to be playing more aggressive style. Of course, we do have Team Insidious. The other big disappointment, I might say, to be very honest, they were one of the favorites coming into this tournament. And look at that loot, look M249, at that loot. M249 though, Blair. Yummy. Speaking of teams coming into a Hydra as well, haven't really impressed us. They had the second most placement points online, and here at LAN, far from that. Tigers oh, are but it's Ronak with the Car 98. That's going to be very impactful later on. Absolutely, and I do believe Tigers are going in. Just take a look at the kill stats real quickly. Yeah, team India with a team, Team IND, I'm sorry, with a team wipe, they got four kills. 8-bit with three, and NDT Gaming with a one frag. And unfortunately, Brawlers and RIP official not getting a single kill and all getting knocked out, leaving us with 14 teams here. Viper, he has an inkling. He has a very good inkling that Ins, Insidious, I'm sorry, are in that house over there. So they might be facing a little bit of problems if they do manage to, if they do want to leave it. Attack. Finds Gemti as well. Will be the knockdown. Not the kill as of yet. All the players, all the teams who are remaining do have four. And as I say, that Gemti will die. So Evil being the only team now without four. Evil, big fellas, Ronak, spots up for the players from Org, but they all are behind hard cover. What do you call him, the, uh, the lesser Ronak? <laughs> bit rude, but yeah. I mean, let's be honest, Ronak has been the MVP. Molotovs getting tossed in. Look at this, look at this urban warfare here. Everyone's kind of clustered in their own respective compounds and respective houses. Imagine if this was San Hock right now. Be a very, very different situation. Instead, players just camping inside the fortified position. Oh. Mortal gets knocked down. Thanks for the Ronak's there to take down Swag in the meantime. So one for one so far, but it's just gonna be the knockdowns. Nades getting tossed in by Soul. They really, they smell that blood. They taste the blood in the water. They're going in for the kill here. And that nade is perfection. Mortal's oh. been actually knocked out. The things have, it's, it's turned. The tables have kind of turned here. Cartoons looks like he's trying to get aggressive towards Viper. Speaking of Insidious, I'm Mazik. Spots other players from Learn From Past. Four of them caught in the open. Sharko as well, close versus Team Orb. Champions oh. of the last map, going for the HE grenade damage. Maybe try and slot it through the window onto King. Let's see if it lands. Oh my lord, it almost took him down. He's barely alive though. In the meantime, Viper is going to strike. And away is behind the burnt out car. He's holding the line here. LFP, they've got to take this fight here. As Sol, they continue to wreak havoc. More kills coming in. This is absolute sheer madness at this point. Zone is still coming in, remember. It looks like Learn from Past aren't quite in it. Oh, they are, barely. So they've got a few more seconds to survive. Burns 
Just at the edge of the corner there, Ronak going to be caught off guard, down to just 20 HP. How's he alive? He's still alive though, so there may be a chance. Let's see what he's going to go for. Not going to go for the safe play, but Burns oh jumps through the window oh, the, the wrong, wrong way. <laughs> they look at the opposite way, and Burns goes oh. down, Viper with one. <laughs> Takes him down, but now Insidious know exactly where the remaining players are for Soul. Viper onto low HP, Ronak gets the heal through. How is Viper even alive? He's internally bleeding. He looked the wrong way, Alex. He looked the wrong way. That is so gutting. Oase up close to the compound. May actually try to charge in here and see if that works. Molotov going in. Oh. Let's see then if they're going to go for alive. this one. He is. Oh, he's just okay for now. Is he? Cartoons can't really go up. They're peeking towards the window. It's going to allow for the players to sur surround and swarm this position. But you can see Cartoons and Co are ready for an onslaught. They're expecting them to be close, and here it comes. Rana going to be leading the charge. He's going to be the vanguard. As a heal will come in, there's actually going to be the Brink getting taken down, but Rana gets taken down. Leading the charge, not quite working out. Trade hasn't quite come in yet. Mag Magic is holding the line from above the stairwell. Is he going to make his escape, though, is the question. However, Oase, he gets a drop in. The crowd's going wild for every kill that Team Soul gets. And Ronald's not been rezzed yet, however, as he's hiding in the bathroom. Yeah, cartoons there, still towards the stairs. Oase has been so strong so far for Soul. As they're holding the position towards the stairs. Oase getting tagged up as well. Going to be going back, falling back, and the Maid is trying to get away. But Cartoons jumps out the window. <laughs> Let's see if he can land the shots and get the kill. Oase is out. There is a duel. Yeah, he's got Oasis. Cartoons got it, yeah. Down goes Oase. And Cartoons going to push him for the kill. Ronak is down as well. So not looking too good into this one. As oh, Ronak, oh. if he goes down. He's going to go down. There's no one nearby. The circle's already on him. It's all on Viper. I think Viper just might have to. Oh, no. He's got to take it down. That's it. They're out. Team Soul have been wiped from the server, I do believe. They have. Oh, that's so. Uh, that was that was uh, intense. In, uh, insidious. They somehow survived that scare. Smoke screen can be blocking off the vision. Paradox is down. Tree mess is inside it. But Team IND are making their way onto the crime scene. Snacks in the open. This is such a huge opportunity for IND to try and snatch that first position away from Team Soul at the moment here. How are they going to play it? We don't know yet. They have all four players alive. But INS and City is in such a good spot here. They have the car for cover. They haven't blown it up yet. I thought they kind of would, smoking Ooh, themselves off. A ricochet smoke there. I quite like that. Fancy. Magazine, white, entity gaming being wiped by Daku of all teams. Bear in mind. Look at the size of that zone. Oh, this is getting messy here. 8 bit, by the way, Ash, he is fighting the zone and he's the last player left alive for his team, mind you. And he's got to make some haste here because that zone's going to do a lot of damage. Team IND, all four players still alive. What's going on here? There's going to be a uh, can taking on a player and a Molotov from two Encore. He found two of them. That is insane. And Team Soul, Entity Gaming getting eliminated now. And teams are now dropping off fast and furiously from the server. We saw something similar in one of the first games of the day yesterday where the top teams went out early. It didn't really impact the standings too heavily. If we're looking at the real time survival stats of the teams that are currently in here, which need to do well, is Team IND definitely and Indian Tigers. But enough of that for now. Let's get attacked from Orb. Up close versus Learn from Pass. Paradox has been revived, so he has got the health now. But look at them swarming around the left and the flank as Encore comes from the side, catches Katak. Can't quite get the kill though. But Orb, they're getting pincered here, and Encore, can he get the spray down? He's gonna be coming in from behind. He's gonna find anything. No, he gets dropped. Neo dodging all the bullets. And he think he has time to res his teammates as well, which he should get done, but no, he gets dropped down. But does he get a res in time? Yes, he does. Got it up, but he's going to get taken down as well. LFP are mowing them down, and the last man left alive for Orb is going to be King. He fights all of them. He oh. wipes them out. The clutch coming in. Oh, my Lord. Six teams remaining. Hydra have four. Hydra just outside of the circle as well. So they have a brilliant position here, Blair. Mega stars but I think he burned alive, by the way. I think he burned alive. I think both the teams got wiped out. I think they got downed by the Molotov and then finished off towards the end there. Either way, my lord, that was action. That was insane. That was insane. Sindhu going down from Godlike. Trance and Ajit as well taking down Avi. Insidious cartoons. Megastar's doing so strong here. This is just shooting fish in a barrel, right? And it's uh, that's the thing with this with this particular map, especially late game. We don't have much cover. It's so easy to spot unless you get that that suit from the drops. And we look at the teams left in contention here. Five teams remaining here, ladies and gentlemen. You must be so scared if you're Soul with how strong Team IND have been so far. One of the only teams that have four players alive. Can I just mention, like, if you look at all the teams here, 
almost everyone have been the underdogs, apart from IND. Like, you have Megastars have always struggled throughout. Godlike, of course, one of the more consistent ones, but Pain Retribution have always been pretty much the bottom of the leaderboard. They're still in play here, and they have three players still alive. Can sees the shoulders there from Bishma, but can't quite take the shot as of yet. Final boss as well, the brilliant position, as they are inside the circle, and I think Blay, you may agree with me here, but Megastars may have the best position out of all teams. They should not really be taking the fight here, if you ask me, Alex, because they have only two players alive. While they should know the team IND Hydra, they have everyone still alive. Paint Retribution to three as well. They need just to play this, play this safe. Let their opponents fight each other, fight themselves, and kind of make your job a little bit easier. And I completely agree with you. This compound is a godsend for Megastars. So is still coming in. Hydra are going to have to rotate from that position, but they're locked down by the players from Megastars. Joking out with the car 98, tries his luck at the shots. Can't quite land it just now. He's just going to go for the run here out in the open, praying that no one rattles off any bullets towards him. And of course, we do have a ghillie suit, but can. He has his eyes trained on him, rattling off the bullets. Joker's been downed. And Hydra, they're kind of stuck in no man's land here. This is looking very rough indeed. Scout oh. in a meetup, spraying through the smoke. And Kane has no idea where he's getting shot from. Hitman, somehow still alive though. Team IND, the only team right now, the remaining four, that has four players alive. Put your money on them, if you can. This is a golden opportunity for INT to steal away the, that first position from Team Soul, and they're playing it so, so very well indeed. They're surrounded in all four directions, but the way they've set things up, and now they're going to rotate. This is lovely. They're going in for the kill. Pain are getting completely decimated. There's still another player there hiding in the smoke, and that's A and B left alive. Scout, Kratos versus A and B, but through the smoke, you can see the tracers, you can see the hit marker, and that's going to be the signal to continue firing. And the way IND are playing, they, they still have four players left, they're working in pairs, they're playing so very confidently and playing a game of misinformation. So even though you know that where two players are, you don't know where the rest of the team is at the moment here. As Can in the compound, trying to get some kills in, and IND late came with a Jeep. These guys are absolute nutcases. Four versus two, Team IND versus Megastars. As the circle now favors Team IND, so that luck that we spoke about before is going to be out the window very, very shortly. But that Jeep gets caught in the open, managed to get behind the Jeep and survive for now, but now they know exactly where Final Boss is, and the location has been sussed out. Absolutely, and for, well, for Megastars, they had such a good position, like you mentioned earlier, Alex, but now, like you said, luck is not in their favor, and they need to make a play here. Circle definitely on trance, and I like how Scout and his, and his teammate, I think, I do believe, yeah, Kratos and Scout are outside the circle. They can make life miserable for Mega while Ooh. ensuring that the teammates are safe, and Mr. Dolgitsky! He is not missing his shots. Lands a tag and the need to follow up. Let's see if it lands directly inside the smoke. No, oh, prematurely goes just before it. So they are safe for now, but now look at the flank coming towards the eastern side as well from Team IND. Yeah, they're going in for the kill here. Mega Stars have managed to make their way inside the circle, but they're getting mowed on down. And just one player left alive, I do believe, who hasn't been down as Trans gets the kill. It's one player left. It's a 1v4. There's no getting out of this one. Team I and D, I think they're going to come out on top as the final player is still sneaking in the smoke. Final boss, low HP. Let's see well, he is the final pairs. boss here. He literally <laughs> is the final boss. His name lives up to it. Scout just using first aid kits here to try and be the line of security just in case final boss gets a few more kills. So essentially, this is a two versus one play because Scout is down. And now Trance oh. has his chance. Oh. And there you go. Final boss goes down. Team IND take another one. And that might mean they take first place. This team has impressed me so very much. And every win they have and every position they get, they've been sheer, pure consistency. And that